Hey, how you doing? I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil. And we're the Appliance Guys. And we've seen it all. We're calling in appliance repairmen. Because, well, you say it's an emergency. Help! My fridge stopped cooling and almost started burning! One day it just stopped working, all the food in my fridge spoiled, and um, it ended up on my curb. Every three or four weeks, this freezing compartment freezes up. As a matter of fact, it is frozen solid right now and we can't open it. It burns everything. And we're afraid it's going to burn the house down. I would expect my machine to last me at least ten years. I really miss my old washer. Why don't appliances last the way they used to? These old pros are about to tell all. Five industry secrets. No holds barred. Tonight. Repairman Unplugged. Phil, Tom Harrington from Marketplace. Nice, nice to, meet you. Meet you. to meet you. Jeff? Jeff. Thanks for coming into our, um, our fake kitchen. Phil and Jeff are going public where other repairmen we talked to wouldn't, risking an industry backlash. You guys have come on to tell us your stories. Why? Let's face it, things aren't being made the way they were. We're all a part of it and we're all stuck with it, so what do you do? Go on TV and try and wake somebody up, I guess. They've each spent more than 35 years in the business, seeing a landslide in quality and a flood of customer anger. When you go into a house and you have somebody with a relatively new machine and it has a major problem, what's the reaction you get? <laughs> you don't want to hear. <laughs> we gotta, <laughs> really? We got to keep it clean, so. <laughs> yeah. They get upset. Oh, yeah. damn, damn straight, yeah. They're oh, yeah. not too thrilled. For sure, these ain't your mother's appliances. Today's fridges, stoves, and dishwashers are fancy, high-tech, and often pricey. We spend $4 billion on them every year. My crisper. Yet they seem to be breaking down. Starts getting filled up with water. As fast as they can make them. And that keeps Steve Brannon on the road every day. Hello. Two medium dark roast, please. I have had uh, up to 70 calls in one day. Steve's our marketplace repairman and says he's busier than ever. We should be making these things to last a lot longer. Today, we're asking him to help solve a mystery. Yeah, I'm not a happy Whirlpool customer. Mark White's appliance battles have worn him down. He wants to know why his fridge, stove, and dishwasher all needed fixing. I expected them to work like new for at least five years. Instead, it's been barely two years. I take care of my appliances. They weren't abused. This isn't my fault. Let's see what the problem is, shall we? Very good. Who's to blame for what happened? That's why Steve's here. Hey, Mark. Morning. Tom Harrington from Marketplace. How are you? Pleased to meet you. And good, this is Steve thanks. Brandon. Hi. Hey, Steve. Need some help? Uh, I do, yes. All right. Thank you. Let's come in. It's cold Appreciate out Appreciate you coming by. First up, Mark's fridge. This is it. Complete with ice maker and freezer in the bottom. Uh, fridge gave me a, quite a scare. Um, I'd come down in the morning and there'd be water cool down here in front of the fridge. And I thought, hmm. Mark was stumped, so he called Whirlpool, who hooked him up with a repairman. Service guy knew exactly what was wrong with it. And I'm like, that's odd. How do you know exactly what's wrong with it? Comes in. A clogged drain was causing ice to build up and water to seep out onto the floor. He said these series of fridges have this design problem where that drain tube gets clogged up from dirt, dust, whatever. My next question was him was, well, if Whirlpool knows that this is a design problem, um, you know, are they going to cover the repair? And he said, you know, they've said nothing to us about that. Our appliance guy has done that repair before. If there was a design flaw and the repairman is telling Mark that, why should he have to pay to get it fixed? Well, really, he shouldn't, right? So if it is a design flaw, then he shouldn't have to pay to have it fixed. Yeah, I don't think I should be on the hook for the bill. This is a 
drain issue on a refrigerator, which is the most common problem I fix on any refrigerator. In fact, Whirlpool has a replacement kit in case the drain keeps clogging. As you'll see, that sort of thing is common in other brands. Hello Marketplace, it's Terry in Vancouver. I'm hoping you can help me with my Samsung fridge that's just two years old. Terry Lake's fridge is leaking water too. I'm gonna to phone Tom Harrington from CBC and see what he can do for me. Hi there. Hi Tom, how are ya? I'm good Terry, how are you? Great, thank you very much. I have some friends with me. Okay, great. We organize a party line service call for Vancouver. So Terry, I understand you have a problem with your fridge. Yes, I have a big problem with my fridge. It's been plaguing me all year. Uh, would you like to see it? Terry's hoping Steve can help. Yeah, show us the problem. Okay. This is my fridge. And uh, my crisper is filling up with water. Water in the crisper, right? Eh? Yeah. The water leaking into the vegetable drawer isn't the only problem. So I'm gonna just pull out the crisper now. And so I hope you can see this, but now uh, in the last few days, I've got ice forming here. Okay, so we have another refrigerator with a plug drain. Terry's been solving her problem the old fashioned way, unplugging it. Like frost free freezers went out how many years ago now? And now I have a non frost free fridge for goodness sakes. I mean, this is craziness. It's retro. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, with the, along with the stainless steel front. Like Mark's Whirlpool, her Samsung trouble began after the one year warranty ended. Got any ideas for me? The more we look, the more cold hard truths we learn about leaky fridges. Online, there are lots of similar complaints. I'll just read you what this one person says. The ice is back and my food continues to spoil. I don't know if they're still selling this fridge or not. And there's a potential class action lawsuit against Samsung in the US. This is $1,400 and it's garbage. It's crazy, I can't live like this. So what are shoppers hearing about the reputation of Samsung fridges? Let's find out the marketplace way, shall we? We're taking our hidden cameras into four major retailers, Sears, Leon's, Home Depot, and Future Shop. Our unplugged repairmen are watching with us to see if our hidden shopper will hear all the nitty gritty. From my experience, people buy with their eyes, you know, if it looks good. Sometimes a great brand. And mind you, the salesmen, they're pretty good too. They'll convince you that some of the stuff that, all these gadgets that they're coming up with are necessities and stuff, and in the end, you buy into it. And you said Samsung's a good, a good model. I buy the Samsung myself. So far, glowing reviews, but we've just spotted Terry's fridge. This is the oldest fridge in our lineup, but it sells so well every year that we're, we don't want to pull it. Straight from a Samsung corporate sales guy who happens to be in Home Depot today. And how dependable is it? Uh, <laughs> you're asking the wrong guy for sure. As far as you know, there's not many issues with this Fridge. Not with this particular model. R197? The 197. Um, and Samsung in general, very reliable. Reliable? Maybe Samsung isn't aware of all the complaints. But our insider Phil says the company probably is. Is it possible that Samsung knows this problem is chronic? I'm sure they do, because when you do warranty work for any company, they, they want you to put in a code on the work order, and that code's supposed to go to the engineering department. And if they get a thousand of those codes, and they'll say, hey, something's going on. So they track the problems? Yes. Meantime, our insider Jeff says this is bigger than one brand or one fridge. Are companies standing by their products like they used to? Not a chance. Nobody cares. And it's, it's really come to that. And that's our first repairman secret. Design flaws are well known in the industry, but you're not told about them. What did Samsung say when you called them? They just said that I wasn't under warranty and I would have to pay to get someone out. Samsung should acknowledge that this is a problem. If you call us with this problem, we'll fix it for you. So that's what they should be doing. Instead, Samsung gives Terry the cold shoulder, but Mark says, don't give up. I think you should stick to your guns and don't pay. There's no way I want to pay for this. Don't be like me. I felt I didn't even have a choice because water kept pouring out of my floor, so I paid. Terry's fighting back. I mean, why should I pay? It's, it's absolute insanity to, on a new fridge. While Terry takes on big appliance. So the repairman's coming and he's asked me to shut down the fridge. 
our repairmen are going to reveal more secrets. Is it reliable? Nothing's reliable. Fed up with your appliances? Vent about it on Facebook and Twitter. We're calling in the repairmen. Telling you what home appliance makers would rather you didn't know. Right here is the troublemaker. Secrets people such as Terry Lake wish she knew. Okay. She owns a fridge on the fritz. It's leaking water. It drips down here, and I get a whole lot of water in the crisper, so I can't use this crisper. Pouring down the drain. That's not all. Underneath the crisper, all across, the water will get in there, and it'll freeze into ice. Pretty stupid for a fridge. Meantime, across the country in Milton, Ontario, Mark White's fridge needed fixing, but that was just the beginning. Well, the dishwasher wasn't washing dishes well. My wife was complaining that, you know, she'd find bits and pieces of things in her glasses, whatever. So the same repairman who fixed his fridge made another house call and replaced a computer board and sensor. And that seemed to resolve the problem uh, and relieved me of uh, several hundred dollars, you know. Here's my range. But just when Mark thought his troubles were over... Several months later, the display panel went out. His stove had an issue. Without the display panel, I cannot operate the stove. Once again, it was the electronics. Our marketplace repairman, Steve Brannon, isn't surprised. Electronics and appliances, how common is this? You have a computer, would you take it and put it on top of a hot stove? No. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when the water hits this thing, there's a seam. So if you have electronics here, they are very vulnerable to that. The design of modern stoves means more service calls. Uh, Maybe we could make a stove that doesn't blow up when your pasta boils over, right? Our insiders, Phil and Jeff, have spent decades repairing machines, even working for the manufacturers. Finicky Electronics is the single biggest problem they deal with. The shift has been from going from mechanical appliances to more electronic, and it seems this electronic stuff just doesn't have the longevity the other stuff did. That's our second repairman secret. Electronics often fail and cost lots to fix. Will we hear that on our shopping tour of big appliance departments? Controls are electronic, so those are something that you have to be careful. Surprisingly, we do get hints. When do the problems happen? They're random. It's electronics, right? They're all electronics, right? There's all circuit boards. Right? But this salesperson goes one step further, telling a repair story of her own with a surprise ending. And you said yours broke, right? Mine broke, yes, after about five years. Just to buy this piece, meaning the computer of the control, it would be about $450. Installing would be more money. So obviously, it would be almost the price of buying a range. And you, that's why you end up buying a new one. Ah, so that's what's really going on. Our insiders say that dilemma's no accident. It is the industry's grand plan at work. I believe, my opinion, that they don't want you fixing it, they want you to buy another one. Buy another one? Yeah, that actually makes sense, doesn't it? Why else would they price the parts so expensive? And get this. Even if you want to repair your appliance, Jeff says you might not be able to. I can get parts tomorrow for a machine that's 40 years old. Why can't I get a part tomorrow for a machine that's two years old? Either they can't keep up with the demand on that defective part, or they're just not really willing to invest the money to replace those parts out into the marketplace. They're extremely expensive on the parts. Why? Why? Well, I don't know. <laughs> the manufacturers charge you a lot because they don't really want you to fix it. They want to make it difficult to you to buy the parts and pay for installation because they want you to buy a new one, right? And that's our third repairman secret. The high cost of parts and repairs may force you to buy a new machine. Even if you're lucky and don't have any major troubles, how long can you expect any big appliance to last? To find out, we're back in the stores. So, how long are these things supposed to last before you get a problem? I don't know. How long are they supposed to last? <laughs> yeah. Ten years at the most. 
We used to say 15, but not anymore. I mean, I'll tell her it lasts for 100 years, but How are the you know, it, it, you know, in, in all honesty, I mean, you, you will you will get at least 12 years out of your, yeah. your fridge. That's what I like to say is, is sort of the ballpark nowadays. How long do they last, these things now? The fridges or any appliance, they're estimated about 10, 12 years. And problem free the whole time? It's okay? If you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yep, even salespeople can't sugarcoat it. Today's appliances have a much shorter lifespan. And that, Sayer Insiders, is by design too. At the end of the day, uh, if you, it's built in obsolescence. When they say 12 years, they're not saying 12 years problem free. They're saying at 12 years, you're probably going to have to throw this thing out. And in between that 12 years, well, at, at three years, you're going to have a problem with uh, potentially a, a board. At five years, you probably have to put another 300 bucks for another board. At seven years, you're going to have a problem with, the, and they don't tell you that. Well, how long is it going to last? Is it reliable? Nothing's reliable. And that's our next secret. If you hope to keep your appliance for the long haul, Keep the repairman on speed dial. Back in Milton, Mark White couldn't afford to buy new machines. Whirlpool. How much did you end up paying for all the repairs in here? Over $1,300. And none of it under warranty, right? None of it. We asked Whirlpool to talk to us on camera about problems with their products. This stuff shouldn't be breaking like as if it's 20 years old when it's like a year and a bit, so. They turn us down but send us this. Whirlpool Corporation has been making appliances for more than 100 years, and product quality is among our top priorities. I believe the manufacturer should be paying for the repairs. Terry Lake's about to put that to the test in Vancouver. This is just absolutely unacceptable. She's calling Samsung with an ultimatum. I need you to either fix this fridge or give me a fridge that doesn't do this. And our insiders share one final secret. They can do whatever they want because they don't have to care. Shopping for new appliances? Don't get burned. Find out how at cbc.ca slash marketplace. We're taking you inside the world of major home appliances and revealing some major secrets the industry likely wants on the back burner. In Vancouver, Terry Lake's Samsung fridge went on the fritz months after the one-year warranty expired. And it drips down here. It's been leaking water and icing up. Now I've got a frost-filled fridge. The likely cause? A design problem. And there are tons of similar complaints about Samsung online. They don't seem to be any help. They don't even acknowledge that there's a problem with this fridge. That's what Samsung told her the first time she called. Thank you for calling Samsung. But Terry's not giving up. For home appliances, please press one. She thinks Samsung should cover the cost of the repair. I need you to either fix this fridge or give me a fridge that doesn't do this. This time, she gets through to the higher ups. You said that the water leaked on the right hand crisper? Yes. Give me a minute or two of hope so I can reveal a little bit more about the file, please. Okay, you bet. Thanks. Thank you. When you've been waiting for almost a year. A minute or two on hold. What's another two minutes? <laughs> At last. Thank you for holding. I'm sorry for the wait. Some good news. I think we can provide you with a one-time courtesy repair for your case, but we do need to copy the bill of sale. Okay. How about that? Samsung comes through with a free repair, but Terry wonders what took them so long. Um, are you aware of the problem with this fridge? Um, honestly, we, we have had some calls, that's why we are um, trying to take care of the issue. Okay. But it's not yet a recall, so we wouldn't call it yet a recall. Okay, because my thought is it should be a recall because it seems like when I go on the internet, everybody and their dog is having this problem. Hmm, Samsung's not denying there is a problem. So the repairman's coming and he's asked me to shut down the fridge um, before he gets here so that it starts to thaw. We asked Samsung to come on camera. They freeze us out and send a note instead. The company says it's committed to delivering high quality products and is promising to offer over the phone assistance to customers with problems. Samsung 
It's a real shame that you didn't come on Marketplace to explain your position on this and what you're willing to do for your customers. The repairman installs some new parts and says that should fix the design problem. In the end, they have done the right thing for me. You have to just keep pressuring them, that's for sure. Don't companies want to compete, though, to have you as a long-lasting customer and build products that do last and build Where's loyalty? The competition? I don't see competition anymore, really, in the end. That's because, despite all the brands out there, our insiders say only a handful of companies is making them. Same people. Same people. So you don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. Not really. And I think that's where the lack of caring starts. When all of a sudden you don't have so many choices anymore. What? They Make can what they want. do whatever they want because they don't have to care. Because where are you going to go? There's not many players in the game anymore. And that is our final repairman secret. A lack of competition means the industry has no incentive to be better. Back in Milton. Oh, OK, I just got a package this morning. Oh, a light bulb from Whirlpool. Whirlpool is doing some repairs to their reputation. After we get involved, the company is in a hurry to please Mark White. They offer to buy back his stove, even throw in a bulb for the hood. Oh, look at that. He says no to the new stove, but guess what? Whirlpool offers to cover his $1,300 repair bill. I want to say thank you very much for um, making me right with this. Our insiders, Phil and Jeff, hope they've done the right thing by coming forward. If we can help somebody make the right decision on what they're buying, or be a little bit more conscious about their decision, don't be fooled by the glitz. Guys, thanks for sharing your stories with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Thanks. They've unplugged so that you can be plugged in. Next week on Marketplace... We love our orange juice! Is it worth squeezing out extra bucks for premium orange juice? That's all that's in it. 100% orange juice. What some juice makers don't want you to know. They don't want this to be perceived as a heavily processed product. Marketplace viewers are freshly peeved. I'm angry. It, I feel duped. And help us reveal some juicy secrets. Give that a smell. What do you think it is? One squirt at a time? That's orange juice. That's orange juice? Mm -hmm.